Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have published the random values from our Python program to MQTT broker using this A9G module. Okay, so we were passing those random values with 80 commands to this A9G board and based on the 80 command and the values, the A9G board will publish those values to MQTT broker. Okay, and our broker is in the cloud. So A9G board will connect to the internet and then it will publish the uh, MQTT messages to that MQTT broker in the cloud and with the help of this MQTT Explorer client software we can read those data okay but now in this video what we want to do is we want to perform something else or you can say we want to create one small product suppose you have Raspberry Pi installed on your location industrial location or you can say if you have Windows machine installed on your industrial location and if you have installed Python in that machine, okay. Now you want to read Modbus TCP device data from your industrial estate and you want to send that data to MQTT broker using this A9G module. You don't have internet uh, facility available because of firewall restrictions, okay. So you have to use this A9G module to connect with the internet using the SIM card and to publish the data to MQTT broker, okay. So this is the scenario. So what we are going to do is we are going to use Python to read Modbus TCP device data okay and then after we are using Python to send those Modbus TCP device data to this NNG board in the uh, with the AT command okay so this NNG board can uh, send those data to MQTT broker and from any MQTT client we can read the data so basically we want to convert Modbus to MQTT publisher using this NNG module and the Python okay so sometimes what happen in the industry you don't have internet access available on the LAN port okay local area network so you have to go for another solution in which you have to buy some uh, gateway which have sim card uh, capabilities to connect with the internet and to send the data to MQTT broker but in that case you can use this A9G module to connect with the MQTT broker and to send the data to MQTT broker and from any other MQTT client we can read that data so Modbus TCP IP device we have in the industry okay so we are going to read the data using python and then after we are going to integrate that data with uh, uh, at command okay and then we will send that at command to ng board and ng board will connect to the mqtt broker and then after it will send that data to mqtt broker okay and uh, with this mqtt client we can read this data okay so let's see how you can do it so here is our python script okay so first of all we have to import the necessary libraries serial library is used to communicate with a ng board okay pymodbus.client uh, library is used to communicate with the modbus tcp devices okay and uh, we have used uh, free format to publish the data on mqtt broker so we are going to use all the three formats and in one of them we have used json so that's why we have imported the JSON. After that, uh, we have to provide the MQTT broker details, okay? So if you have any cloud MQTT broker, then you have to provide the broker IP address, broker port number, broker username, broker password, and the topic where we want to publish the data, okay? Then after this is the default function to send 80 commands to this NNG board. I have explained this function previously in the video, so I'm not going to waste the time now. And this is the function to connect with the MQTT broker. So, so this is the same function, okay, which I have explained in the previous video. And this function is to publish the data to MQTT broker, okay. After connecting to MQTT broker, we are going to use this function to publish the data to MQTT broker. And this function is used to read Modbus data, okay, Modbus TCP device data, okay. Now, if you want to publish your Modbus data, in this format then you can use this main code okay so let's run all the cells one by one and we will see the data in live okay so now we have to run our main code to publish the data in this format so here is my modbus tcp device which is running in my system and uh, here you can see the main code in which I'm going to use the Modbus device IP address is my local host IP address, okay? Because Modbus device is running in my own system. Okay, so that is why I have used the local host IP address and the port number 502. And I'm going to read 10 holding register. 
and then i want to publish that 10 holding register values to mqtt broker using this a9g board okay and uh, we are going to publish at interval of yeah 10 second is fine okay so in the while loop what we are doing is we are reading the holding register values from our modbus device and then after each value we are going to create a subtopic and in the subtopic we are going to upload or we are going to publish that value so let me run this main function and in a few moment you will see uh, the values here okay like 0 1 2 3 up to 9 okay master topic is not defined okay i'm sorry where is master topic yeah master topic yeah sorry i have to rename it to master topic okay done now i can rerun this main code okay permission denied so i can restart kernel and clear all output okay i can rerun every cell and here is our main code okay you can see we have a master topic which is modbus data which i have defined here inside the modbus data i have holding register values from 0 to 9 okay if i auto increment these values then you will see the update after a few seconds okay you can see you will not see the exit value which you are seeing in the modbus slave software because we are sending values after five seconds okay so it will take some time to update the values on the mqtt broker and then after you can read those values here and also it will take time to update the values because here you can see we are publishing the values one by one okay so we are going to read the modbus values in a single shot okay so with one request we are going to read the 10 data but whenever we want to publish the data to mqtt broker a9g uh, a9g module does not support uh, that kind of request to send or publish all the data at once okay so it will publish data one by one okay it will not publish all the 10 holding register in single shot so it will publish first holding register and then after second and then after third and then after fourth okay so it will take some time to update it here so that is why we have come up with another solution so let me stop this main code okay so it is exit you can see exiting the program now uh, with a different approach we can publish all the data in a single shot okay so here is our different approach now I can run this main code and you will see the result like this okay so this is the first holding register this is the second third four five six seven eight nine ten okay so all the ten holding register in the single topic so this is how we can save the time and we can save the serial communication uh, traffic okay so previously if we want to publish the 10 holding register values then we were using this function uh, published to mqtt function 10 time okay but now we are going to use it for one time and we will publish all the data in the single shot like this okay so let me run this okay it will open the serial port it will send the data in the single shot you can see 154 158 okay so you can see this is how it is publishing the data at every second okay and in the single request it is publishing all holding register data okay so you don't have to wait for five or ten seconds to get the update okay you can you know auto increment the values and you will get update in few seconds okay with this approach with this approach you will get uh, suppose you have 100 holding register data and if you want to send 100 holding register to mqtt broker then it will uh, iterate for loop 100 time okay and each time it will use the publish to mqtt uh, function so it will take time okay so it's better to send all the data in the single shot in one request so we can save the time and we can save the uh, computing as well okay now the third option is uh, let me stop the code okay 
let me disconnect and let me connect again okay now the third option is we are going to publish the data like this okay in the json kind of format so register 0 has value something register 1 has value something register 2 has value something and after having this kind of data we can you know extract the data in any software okay so that is possible to extract uh, data from this kind of json object so let me run this and you will see the data here in the empty explorer you can see register 0 261 register 1 77 and it is updating data at every 10 second let me change it to 2 second we will stop this and we will rerun this okay so it will update the data at every 2 second okay you can see 279 282 okay so every 2 second it will update the data and whatever data you are seeing in the logs it will be available here you can expand it and you can see the full values okay from register 0 to register 9 so every value will be available in the single request okay so if you have 100 holding register then also you can uh, i mean stand or publish all the 100 holding register value in the single request so you don't have to use this publish to mqtt function again and again for 100 holding register okay you will get your output like this and for and with the help of any other software or if you are using node or cap server then you can extract the json and you can you know differentiate the register values and you can pass it to some tags so that is possible okay so this is how you can uh, use this a9g board with python and raspberry pi or any windows operating system to convert your modibus data to mqtt data okay so this is the best use of this a9g module uh, wherever you don't have uh, internet available via wi-fi or via ethernet option okay so some remote places where you don't have internet available but you can use 2g sim card at that place you can use this kind of setup you can uh, either use some industrial pc which is very small you can get it uh, by 5000 rupees okay you can implement uh, this code in that pc you can put that pc at that place you can attach this a9g board with that uh, ipc and you can start publishing data from your remote location to mqtt broker and from central room you can read those data okay so i hope this thing is clear and if you still have any question or doubt then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere and here we have converted modbus tcp data to mqtt data but in the next video what we are going to do is we are going to read modbus serial data and then after we are going to publish modbus serial data to mqtt okay so what will be changed in that code so the main thing will be changed is this one Right now we are using IP address, port number and the register count to read data from Modbus TCP device, okay? But in the serial communication, we are not going to use IP and port number. We are going to use the baud rate, parity, data bits and COM port everything, okay? So that is also you can use with uh, Raspberry Pi, Linux operating system, Windows operating system or you can, you know, use in the IPC where you can read the data from your Modbus serial device and then you can publish the data to mqtt broker using this a9g module okay so i hope this thing is clear and if you still have any question or any doubt you can always ping me on whatsapp telegram instagram anywhere also you can comment on this video and also you can email me so stay tuned for the next video and uh, till then take care goodbye and thank you